Hey, I hope you're having a great day. I'm Beth Ann from BrilliantBusinessMoms.com and this week's challenge for 52 Weeks to a Better Business is all about your email opt-in box. We're actually going to be spending the next two weeks tackling email, um, but this week the focus is really just getting signed up for your email service provider and getting that opt-in box in all the right places on your site. And then next week we're going to focus on creating a killer opt-in so people will just be so excited to give you their email address. Okay, so in light of that, um, one of the best places you can put your email opt-in box is right at the top of your site. And, you know, there are a lot of websites out there that have really fancy designs. And so they've got this really clean, great looking opt-in box right in their header. Um, but for those of us who are running on a bit more of a shoestring budget, um, you might not be able to get your website redesigned to have that opt-in box right at the top. Um, but one of our listeners actually actually gave us this great resource. Victoria from victoriaramblings.com heard that we were tackling email for the next two weeks and she wanted to let me know about this resource called manycontacts.com that helps us to get this free contact bar right at the top of our website. So there's no way for people to miss out on the fact that they can give your give you their email address and sign up for something great. So we are going to create our account and um, see how this works. Okay, so I typed in our address, create your bar now. Oh, sweet, we get to pick our color. That is really awesome. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with this navy because that fits pretty well. Okay, edit the content. Click to edit, oh, okay. Hmm, that's kind of a lot of material up there, though. Ah, I'm trying to see if there's a better way to do that. Click to edit this. Hmm, I want to change that button color. Sign me up. Hmm, okay. Ours is looking a bit long. There we go. Okay, that gets it all in the same same line there. Sweet. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let me see. I want this to let me edit this part of it. Can I make that? Ah! No, I don't want that. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like that color is changing just depending on my bar. You know what? That might work. Okay, add a contact form. Let's see what this does. No, I don't want this. That's an extra step. We want to make it super easy for people to sign up. Edit the final message. Okay. You made a brilliant choice. There we go. Okay, save and install. Final step. Okay, so I'll put in my email. Okay, so I'm signed up. It says, please follow these instructions to embed your many contacts form into brilliantbusinessmoms.com. Okay, copy and paste this code into the footer of your website before the end body tag. WordPress. Oh, okay. I like this idea better because I do, I have um, a plugin that lets me attach different codes to different parts of my website, but I still find it a little bit nerve wracking. I mean, I'm nowhere near a tech guru. So when I can find a plugin that lets me just say, hey, um, hey, tech dummy, like just put the code right here and hit submit. I'm always going to go for that method. So, okay, install the many contacts, WordPress plugin, copy and paste this code. So let's do that. Okay, so let me pull up another window, head over to my website. 
I go down to plugins. I want to add new. And then many contacts. Search plugins. Hmm. Okay, but I want it to be the exact many contacts plugin because these ones don't say that. And so I don't know if they're going to work. I need. Okay, what does this say? Okay, they're saying many contacts dash bar. Okay, so maybe that's the trick here. Many contacts dash bar. Let's see. That is the one thing with these plugins. Sometimes it's hard to know whether you're getting the right one because there are so many out there. There we go. Okay, so many contacts bar, free contact bar. Yes, so I know this is right because it's many contacts right here. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to hit install now. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, it comes to here. It says install, and then you have to click down here, activate plugin. Hmm. Another thing to think about, though, guys, anytime you're installing a new plugin on your site, is it could change the speed of your site. Now, some plugins barely affect the speed at all, whereas others can really slow it down. And that site loading time is really important. You want a really fast website. So just keep that in mind. There are certain things like this that I feel like if it slows it down a teensy, but I'm able to collect a ton more email addresses, then it can be worth it. But if I notice a huge drop in my website speed, then I might have to say, mm, no thanks, we've got to come up with a better solution. So just, just something to think about when you're adding plugins. Many contacts is right there. Okay, so fetch my code and paste it right here, which I have right over here. Now here's my question. It didn't ask me to integrate it with MailChimp, so I'm kind of wondering where are these contacts going to go? So it successfully saved this, so let me see how my site looks. Hmm, I wonder if it's not, oh, there it is. Okay, I was almost wondering if it wasn't gonna show up since I'm an admin and I'm signed in here. The problem with this is the color, it kind of clashes a little bit over here. I'm also curious about where this email is going to go. So in a minute, I'm going to put my email into that and see, like, do I log into many contacts and then just import those into MailChimp? Oh, synchronization is new. Okay, so after I do this, add a link to a file, which is a good idea. And you know what? We're going to tackle this next week when we do our email opt-in offer because while I do think 52 weeks to a better business is when people realize the benefit of it, that there's going to be a private Facebook group. We're going to hold you accountable. We're going to break things down and make it really easy for you to accomplish something great for your business every week. But at the same time, you kind of want that quick freebie that no matter what people kind of think of your website or how connected they want to be to your brand that that quick freebie just draws them in and they can't resist it so next week we'll tackle that and we'll do a quick freebie as well and so then we can add a link to a file there so they'd grab their pdf right away but right now we're not ready with that pdf so we are just going to stick it with this Okay, so I'm going to go to this color, I guess. Um, okay, now save this bar. Okay, so I'll do this, but then I got to see if the synchronization. See my change. 
It does seem like it takes a second after the site loads for this to show up, but pretty cool, right? And the green, I mean, it's not perfect, but you know what? It gets people's attention, so that's cool. I'm going to stick with this for now. Let me go back in and see if we can do this synchronization so that everyone here goes right onto our MailChimp email list. Okay, so I'm logging into my MailChimp. I want to synchronize it because you can, within MailChimp, you can obviously have all these different lists. So I wanted to go to the Brilliant Business Moms list. Many contacts. Okay, I want first name, email address. Now we had hidden the last name just to make it easier for people. Um, opt in confirmation email. Yes, we want to do that. So essentially, it's going to make it, I think, just like our list now, the sign up form, because I think we've already set last name to be kind of hidden. Um, so I'm just going to leave that as is. I don't want to finagle with this too much in case I mess something up. <laughs> so I said finish. Okay, so sweet. So it says your data will now be sent to your MailChimp list. So again, all you would need to do is test that theory out. You would just head in here, you know, type in whatever email address you want and, um, you know, log back into your MailChimp or your email provider. Make sure your name showed up on the list. So pretty cool. And let me actually see since this is supposedly integrated now with our MailChimp, it should tell me if I've already signed up for this list because I know MailChimp will do that for you. Oh, okay. Well, that's it. Well, sweet. Either way, that's pretty fun, right? Then it gives you a little message and then they're going to get that email. So pretty cool. I think this is going to be super powerful once we have a freebie, something that our user can grab, get sent to their inbox right away, I think this tool right here at the top is going to be crazy powerful for that. So thank you so much, Victoria, for giving us this great tip. I'm really excited about it. And we'll be sharing with you guys the results and, you know, letting you know if someone um, signs up through our, through our new bar here at the top. So that's it. Now it's your turn to head out there and be brilliant.